Hello, uh, hi everybody. Welcome back to our today topic, analytical chemistry. So today we will discuss about the analytical chemistry basics principle and the scope of analytical chemistry and some what are the analytical techniques and what are the analytical methods nowadays using in pharmaceutical industries. Suppose if the people who will join in any pharma industries, what the analytical techniques he needs to know. This we will discuss briefly 5 to 10 minutes and next to YouTube channel I will explain you detail about the what uh, each techniques like what are the analytical techniques and what is application of analytical techniques and what are the methods of analytical techniques we will discuss briefly. So you can see that now what is spectroscopy, chromatography, electrochemical analysis, thermal analysis these things are comes under the analytical chemistry okay you can see here. Uh, now this myself Ramesh you can see this is I am that uh, basically I am the from chemical science I did uh, MSc, MA, BD and MPhil and PhD and you can see the first one topic see introduction of analytical chemistry basics if you see analytic chemistry deals with the method for determining the chemical composition of sample. So what is the main concept of analytical chemistry has a anal analyst the chemical compositions of uh, giving mixture solution it can be determined by the analytical chemistry. You can see the qualitative analysis like identification provides information about the identify of species or the functional group of samples like analytes can be identified. So this is that one of the point for the analytical chemistry. Next you can see quantitative analysis. Quantitative analysis provides a numerical information of the analyte means quantitative as exact amount or the concentration you can find out from the analytical chemistry. So this is are some basics introduction of the analytical chemistry and you can see the next slide. What is analytical chemistry? So you can from figure you can find out here this is a general principle of analytical chemistry. See if you measure the light, if you measure the heat, you can measure the current and voltage. Suppose if you pass here the light and heat and current and voltage, this is if you fill the sample, the output you can see the transducer like detector, the signal processing amplifier and digitizer, then the readout that meter plotter and computer. This is the mechanism, this is the scheme of the analytical chemistry general techniques or general principle it is the implemented in every methods or every techniques. You can see the next one is uh, what is the main role of analytical chemistry. You can see nowadays analytical chemistry every areas nowadays people are using. Analytical chemistry is play an vital role in the development of science. Nowadays you can see the various science branches like biotechnology, biochemistry, microbiology, every areas the people use the analytical chemistry, analytical techniques. You can see the play and vital role in many research areas like chemistry, biochemistry, biology, geology, physics and other sciences. Also nowadays people are using analytical chemistry. All branch of chemistry drawn on the idea and techniques of analytical chemistry. So analytical chemistry is the uh, correlate with all branch either microbiology, biology, physics, chemistry, geology, physiology, these things all the comes under that analytical chemistry. You can see the in analytical chemistry is one of the interdisciplinary nature, is a correlate inter of the all branches. Nature of chemical analysis makes it the vital role in medicinal, industrial, government and academic laboratories also the analytical chemistry the making the major role in various field. Some of the techniques you can see the analytical chemistry, miscellaneous methods like uh, temperature dependent methods, thermometric analysis and thermogeometric analysis simply we will call TZA. Next one is the atomic absorption spectroscopy AAS, atomic emission spectroscopy AES, atomic fluorescent spectroscopy AFS, reverse phase high performance liquid chromatography RP HPLC. Okay, this is the reverse phase high performance liquid Next you can see alpha particles, x-ray, photometry, APX, capillary electrophoresis, chromatography, calorimetry, cyclic voltammetry, differential scanning calorimetry, electrons microscopy, electron paramagnetic re resonance spectroscopy like EPR, energy dispersive spectroscopy EDS or EX, then inductively coupled plasma IPICP. X-ray photoelectron spectroscopy and thermogrammetric analysis. These are the some of the major techniques 
nowadays they are using in analytical chemistry you can see that what is next one hypernetic techniques see what is the hypernetic techniques you can see here the hypernetic techniques what is the meaning means the coupling of the one techniques to another one techniques mixing of two technology two methods or two principles two techniques and it will give you a new methodology that is called as hypernetic techniques the couple of separation techniques are the and are and line separation techniques leads to the development of hypernetic techniques a hypernetic techniques in analytical chemistry is the marriage of two separate analytical techniques what i said the marriage of two separate analytical techniques via appropriate interface usually with the backup computer tying everything together this is called hypernetic techniques the variety of hypernetic techniques nowadays you can see in the market such as the lcms liquid chromatography mass spectroscopy gcms means gas chromatography mass spectroscopy lc nmr liquid chromatography nuclear magnetic resonance spectroscopy icpms have been applied in the analytical analysis in pharmaceutical industry these are the some of the techniques in hypernetic techniques you can see the spectroscopy what is nmr what is the main concept of nmr nowadays the analytical chemistry nmr also is major making one of the major role you can see nuclear magnetic resonance spectroscopy is a spec technique which is based on the absorption of electromagnetic radiation in the radio frequency region 4 to 900 megahertz by nucleus of the atoms this is the main concept of nmr the nmr main based on the absorption of electromagnetic radiation in the radio frequency region what is the radio frequency region like 400 to 900 megahertz by the nucleus of the atom so proton nuclear magnetic resonance spectroscopy is one of the most powerful tool for elucidating the number of hydrogen or the protons of the compound so proton nuclear magnetic spectroscopy the main concept is the number of hydrogen or the proton in the compound so many protons in the compound you can be discussed next one see polar next one after that you can see here polarimetry what is polarimetry you can see here the polarimetry we can find out optical rotation is the property displayed by the chiral substance of rotating a plane of polarization of light polarimetry nothing but of a chiral compounds you can find out but the rotations that it is the simple definition you can see the refractometry what is refractometry the refractive index of medium with the reference to air is equal to the ratio of sin sin in the angle of incident in the beam of light air in the sin of the angle of reflection and refracted beam in the given medium that is the refractometry next one mass spectroscopy a mass spectrometer produce charge particles like ions from the chemical substance that are to be analyzed so mass spectroscopy does then uses a electric or magnetic field to measure the mass weight of the charged particles so that is the main concept of mass spectroscopy charged particle next one you can see the flame photometry the principle of flame photometry is based on the measurement of emitted light intensity when the metal is induced in the flame so you can see the wavelength of the color gives information about the elements and the color of the flame gives information about the amount of elements present in the sample the flame photometer is very simple the metal will be exposed into the flame photometer then how much that light intensity is emitted that depending on the you can see the water how much amount of the element are present in the sample you can find out in organic chemicals analysis to determine the concentration of certain metal ions among them sodium potassium lithium and calcium these are the i can some example of inorganic chemical analysis you can find out from the flame photometer next one see chromatography techniques what are the chromatography techniques chromatography is one of the best separation techniques to identify the components in the from the mixture this is a powerful method in, in nowadays in industries some of the major types of chromatography is nowadays you can see the paper chromatography thin layer chromatography liquid chromatography and gas chromatography these are the some of the chromatography techniques for the separation techniques you can see the hplc one of the major role in the pharmaceutical industries so you can see hplc means high performance liquid chromatography it is a very 
efficient suppression techniques hplc is a form of a column chromatography like it frequently is used in pharmaceutical laboratory to separation of components from the mixture okay this is the major thing you can see the here you can i can show you here you can the what is of analytical techniques in the flow chart you can see the spectrophotometry chromatography electrochemical techniques and uh, electrophoretic techniques flow injection are the sequential injection and half noted techniques you can see that analytical techniques 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 major techniques are major divisions of techniques in analytical chemistry you can see here spectrophotometry uv visible spectroscopy infrared spectroscopy mass spectroscopy nuclear magnetic resonance spectroscopy fluorimetry and phospho metry this comes under the spectrophotometry you can see the column chromatography like uh, chromatography techniques HPLC high performance thin layer chromatography high performance liquid chromatography thin layer chromatography gas chromatography you can see the electrochemical techniques amperometry polarograph potentiometry voltammetry electrophoretic techniques and the flow injection and sequential injection analysis have not it text already we discussed in previously LCMS and the LCMS and the LCNMR these are the hypnotic techniques okay you can see next one what is the role of the analytical chemistry in the major field chemistry organic inorganic biochemistry physical physical and electrical what these these are the same all branches nowadays people are using the major role of analytical chemistry every field you can see that analytical chemistry is compulsory in geology geophysics you can see the environmental science ecology biology physics archaeology anthropology forensics this all departments nowadays analytical chemistry will be making the major role if you really if you know the analytical techniques you can survive the all branches we have the wonderful opportunities nowadays in analytical chemistry for various research you can see the some of the techniques and the what is the quality measured in techniques and single multi channel techniques and the theoretical principle you can see gravimetric electro gravimetric and tritrometric and the tritrometric and potentiometric voltammetry atomic absorption spectroscopy emission spectroscopy molecular spectroscopy this comes under the analytical techniques are studied what are that analysis by mass the gravimetric analysis and volumetric analysis redox titration chromatography techniques paper thin layer high performance spectroscopy techniques what you discussed in the previous these are comes under the analytical techniques are already studied major what is the scope of analytical chemistry you can see that every field nowadays people are using the analytical techniques you can look into the uh, agriculture field nitrogen concentrated in the fertilizer phosphorus and uh, fe iron content in the soil environmental also people are using analytical chemistry techniques forensic science department they are using the analytical chemistry clinical science manufacturing and metallurgy pharmaceutical industries people see the all all area every area nowadays analytical chemistry is compulsory to do the various purpose they are using okay you can see the next one classification of modern analytical methods so you can see the gravimetric methods and the volumetric methods electro analytical methods spectroscopy method miscellaneous methods these are the some uh, modern analytical methods techniques you can see that what is the instrumental physical you can see the optical methods electrochemical methods and miscellaneous method and uh, next one see the electrochemical methods ph metric and potentiometric conductometry voltammetry fluorograph amperometry coulombometer these all are the electrochemical analytical techniques optical methods also you can see absorption emission spectroscopy scattering refracting and the rotation spectroscopy these are the some uh, important of optical methods you can see these are the some basics we will discuss in the today so really if you like this video please like share and comment thank you very much for your spending of your valuable time and uh, next video i will teach you this all optical methods what is electrical uh, and chemical methods or ph meter and the what is the physical methods you can discuss in briefly and what are the analytical methods what is spectroscopy nmr spectroscopy what is analytical techniques in physical what is chromatography paper chromatography thin layer chromatography liquid chromatography gas chromatography hplc you will discuss this all things in the next you classes and you can see the what is polarimetry refractometry mass spectroscopy and the nmr spectroscopy and these are the some of the techniques i was what i was mentioned here these methods these all techniques we will go to uh, one by one in, in detail in the next youtube channel okay so i hope i i make some of the techniques just for the naming of the what analytical techniques and what is the main scope of analytical techniques i was hopefully i will giving some of the basics ideas 
So thanks.